Hi, I'm Dave Epstein. Welcome to this edition of Growing Wisdom. Today I'm going to talk about using some of the things in your yard to create a natural flower arrangement. So I'm calling this a flower arrangement, but there's no flowers in it. It's basically just greens and leaves. And it's fall now. We're in late November here in the Northeast, and a lot of the leaves are down. I've been raking all day today. That's why I'm kind of dressed like I am. But when I was raking, I found these really cool magnolia leaves. These are a big leaf magnolia. And I also needed to do a little bit of pruning. So I thought, hey, why not do a video and show you just using some of the things around your yard, what you can create. So here we just have a little plastic dish. This is something I got years ago. I kept the flower foam, so you can reuse flower foam. And you know, when you're making one of these, the best thing to have is a good pair of scissors and just a big pile of greens. There's no right or wrong here. I'm just gonna make something really quickly and show you how easy it is to make a centerpiece. You could do something like this if you wanted something a little taller, a little lower. Uh, this particular centerpiece here would be good for a smaller table. And uh, I tend to like things that are a little bit low, that way you can see over them. So there's really no rhyme or reason here. I can't even tell you exactly what I'm doing. The one thing I can say is that I look for things with different textures. So we have some of this thread leaf cypress that's a little bit yellow. Uh, we've got some spruce that's a little firmer looking. It doesn't move as well. I've got a little bit of pine here, which has a bluish needle to it. We've got the big leaf magnolias I told you about, and I've also got some holly. So I'm kind of just gonna mix things and see what it looks like. Let's get to work. So you get the idea. Now this may be a little bit too tall for the actual dish that I have. I think this is more something that maybe would be better in a, a taller vase. I probably should have kept things a little bit lower, but think about all of this stuff. It's all from the yard. It didn't cost me anything. Uh, it's got a lot of different colors, a lot of different textures. And you know, you could put this somewhere in the house on a table, uh, on a mantle or anything like that. One thing is just be sure that as they dry out, you don't keep it near any open flames because this stuff becomes very flammable uh, once it does dry out. But it will last for several weeks and uh, real easy. And of course, again, it's right from the yard, didn't cost anything. For Growing Wisdom, I'm Dave Epstein.